In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. And in spite of it all, why does Griffith value you so much? There's no reason in particular. Do you really need one? Will you always be left doubting me when I lay down my life for you? All right, stretch out the rest of those ropes. Any sign of the enemy? Nothing at all, sir. <laughs> even if hundreds or even thousands of enemies attempt to attack, the elite of the Blue Whale Heavy Assault Knights are gathered here. No one can set one foot in a stronghold under our guard. <laughs> Listen, you must always be on your guard in war. Do not cease to be vigilant! Uh, yes, sir. The commander looks unusually alert tonight. Yeah, it's because he's been given such an important job. I guess he can't help but be more focused. Is it from God? 
It is. It's the signal to move on to the next phase. Very well. Let's move! <laughs> They've finally shown their faces. Aye, sir! Now then, fire the cannons into the center of their formation! Sir, it is impossible to reach them at this distance! Then send out the whole unit and tear those rotten kids apart! Sir! Hold on a minute. So, this is their trap. They must realize how difficult it would be to destroy this stronghold. So they're plotting to lead us out into a battle on the field. <laughs> how foolish they are! Such cheap tricks are of no use against the most resourceful commander in the Tudor army. Then what should we do, sir? We ignore them. What? Let them buzz around all they like. It's time. Let's get moving. Ripley! I have confirmation that all the raiders have crossed the river. Well done. Everyone get out of sight quickly. They seem to have stopped their charge. It's not worth risking their lives to attack this impregnable stronghold. <laughs> <laughs> Message! Open the gate! What happened? The General will be visiting this castle about an important operation! Really? I need to speak to your commander immediately. Right away, sir! Yes, sir! 
We will repel them with our entire force! Commander, should we send the signal now? Not yet. We've got to secure a way in for them first. It's an enemy raid! Bring all the bridge guards back into the castle! We shall wait for the signal. Uh, is he going to keep us waiting out here all night? No wonder he puts so much faith in Guts. What's going on? Why is the gate open? Do it now! Sir! What was that? Griffith? Everyone! Rush to the front of the castle! This is it! Succeed with such a small number? I, Suradan, shall put an end to their lives personally! Damn it! Those scoundrels marching in from both sides like that! That's our commander. You had a raft prepared just in case. I am always prepared. It is a commander's responsibility. Commander! commander! Please, don't leave us here! Save us! Please, 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 save us here! Oh, oh, God! This is outrageous of you! This raft is a precious heirloom that has been handed down through the Corbowitz family! Remove your armor, you can all swim, Herman! You did very well today. I was just following your orders. We did it! Finally. We've driven a wedge into Tudor's territory. We've opened the pass leading to Doldry. My, my, that was a long walk. First I'll feed my stomach with a sumptuous meal, and then I'll have a well-deserved rest. <laughs> uh, 
Your Grace and General Buscon, what a pleasure. What happened to the Black Fortress? Well, our enemy was so devious that even I was inferior in terms of underhanded trickery. Sir. So, did you just roll over and surrender the fortress? No, sir. I, I deliberately withdrew and let them occupy the fort temporarily to give us ample time to... Imbecile! Is your minuscule brain even capable of recognizing the importance of that fortress? I thought I was doing the proper thing. I'm warning you, this is the last time I'll support you. But, General Buscon, I... A warrior is nothing without honor. Now go back and reclaim it. Sir... This time, I shall definitely put an end to them with the secret tactics that have been passed down to the Corbowitz family for 500 years! 500? Not quarreling with some evil design, not straying from virtue, sacrifice thyself ceaselessly. Render your services to our fight for peace and security. Before God and country, the title of Count is bestowed upon thee. Place thy flesh and heart in heaven. Separate thyself from falsehood and desirous ambition. Uphold the law and the spirit that it serves. Know the subjects, for they are your charge. And in service to them, be valiant and with due majesty advance the war. Stand prepared for thy foe with due thirst for battle, and fear not, despite the machinations of thy enemy who march upon thee. Thou, the duly appointed count of our glorious kingdom of Midland. So, now he's a count. Have you heard? Sir Griffith was awarded the title of count! Oh yes, I heard that too! He's so handsome. I'm just jealous because he is so attractive and even more graceful than any of the women at court. Not only that, he is the greatest swordsman in the kingdom and commands the strongest army. He has far more class than those awkward nobles, and he has so much presence and elegance. Those nobles have absolutely no idea how to treat a lady. Compared to Sir Griffith, those ministers in the court are all so rough and rude. Those poor old ministers just can't hold a candle to Sir Griffith. <laughs> That's enough! How dare you speak of such things? We're Please. sorry! Forgive, Forgive us, Your Excellency! <gasps> Gossiping hens. General Urius, what is the use of yelling at them? Your voice might echo throughout the court. You look very displeased for some reason. I wonder what's troubling you today. It's none of your concern. Oh, yes. How could I have forgotten? By the way, did your grace happen to hear about the king's change of escort for the upcoming fall hunt? Huh? There's nothing to hear. My unit, the White Dragon Knights, are regularly assigned to the task. What is your point? Uh, well, your grace, the hawks were requested to be the escort by imperial decree. Uh, what? It is reliable information. <coughs> Nonsense! The fall hunt is an important event. It allows the king to promote friendly relations between feudal lords. Our best knights, the White Dragons, are the only ones suitable to serve the king in that honorable assignment. How could these newcomer thieves take that from us? Uh. <coughs> What could His Majesty possibly be thinking? Will you allow this affair to take place? What? The White Dragons were reputed to be the strongest unit in the kingdom. Nevertheless, its glory turns to insignificance due to the emergence of the Hawks. What? You... How can you say... As I say, it is a rumor within the court. <sighs> It is an undisputed fact that the Hawks are invincible, as they have yet to be defeated on the battlefield, and there is no sign that the tide of war will subside any time soon. In feudal times, a great leader on the battlefield may usurp power in the court. Additionally, His Majesty highly appreciates that boy, although I do not know why. 
if things go badly, that boy might become a general. Ridiculous! I would never permit it. It is unheard of, some mercenary becoming a general. No, never a general. I will not live to see it. It shall never come to pass. That cretin of common blood is not my equal. Well, I just mentioned the possibility. If things continue as- Never! I absolutely will not allow it! In the act of hunting, a little danger must always lie. Hmm? You never know what kind of beasts lie within the woods. What are you trying to say to me? Of course, not only are the beasts dangerous, but also the stray arrows that may have been launched at the beast. A stray arrow? And a nastily poisoned stray arrow at that, Urius. Huh? If you're suggesting... A stray arrow, Your Grace. Hmm. <laughs> A stray arrow. How interesting. <laughs> it would be a proper death for a man of common birth. more profound or everlasting than envy and enmity. Man lives on in the deep darkness of such feelings while he strives against his sinful fate. In this world is having affection towards someone an avoidable sin. <laughs> 